One of the topics I get asked about a lot is potty training. And I'm gonna be honest with you, there is nothing easy about potty training anybody, but it's a particularly a challenge with our kids that have sensory or developmental issues. So I'm just gonna hit on a couple of really quick points to remember. There are so many philosophies about potty training. Uh, there, there, there's just thousands of them. So I'm not gonna recommend a philosophy because each child's an individual and what may work for one may not work for another. But I'm gonna give you some key points that across the board that many of these philosophies recommend. First of all, when you decide to potty train, normally you can tell whether a child is ready. Your pediatrician might be able to tell you, but if they're expressing no interest in potty training, then that's probably just an interest of yours, which I understand. But if your child's beginning to communicate about um, going to the bathroom, that's a, that's a big indicator. Second thing is, when you take those diapers off, you take them off for good. You gotta throw them away and they're done. You don't wanna pull them back out because you felt like your attempt was a failure. And I will tell you, with most of our kids with sensory issues, it can take two, three, four times as long. They need to see the consistency. So a lot of it is how prepared are you, mom or dad, versus the kiddo. The kiddo is gonna follow your lead, so you have to persevere because this is really more of a journey than it is a quick process with many of our kids. And for some, it's, it's actually kind of painless. Um, they go through it rather rapidly. The other thing I would suggest is putting the child in underwear so that when they have an accident, they can actually feel the wetness. That's an important part, or they can feel that, that sensation. And um, parents go, well, what about my furniture? Put on plastic pants or something so that your furniture is protected. And also, if the child does have an accident, make that part of the learning process. Let them go through and be part of cleaning themselves up. That's how they learn. It's really discouraging to feel that wetness and have to go through that process of cleaning yourself up. We usually, anybody doesn't like to do things they don't enjoy. They will usually try harder to prevent that. So make them go through that process and talk about that and make it an educational experience.